So in this video, I just want to show you how to create a hole perpendicular to a model. Somebody asked me about how to create a hole that goes through something um, perpendicular rather than get an elliptical hole. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First things first, here's my version of FreeCAD. I am on version 0.21.0. .0. Uh, that was the latest download at the time I downloaded this. I don't know if there's a later one up there yet. I haven't checked lately, but I'm just going to show you with this version. The first thing, we're going to create a new file. Then we're going to create a body and a part. And then yeah, we're going to create a simple sketch on the XZ plane. And I'm going to use a polyline. I'm going to connect it there. Small step there. The M up here, and I'm going to step back to the line, connect there, the M here, and then back to the line and connect to there. And that is close enough for government work. So we're going to close that. We're going to create a revolve. And then what we have is a revolve that looks like this. Now what we want to do is we want to put a hole through here, but we don't want to do this. I'll show you. So if I go on my XY plane and I say, OK, and I turn my model back on so you can see what's going on. Cut through it. Draw a circle out here. and close that sketch and then put a hole through can say through all and reverse it so it comes out through the top say okay now if you look at this hole you see how it's elliptical and that's because the hole is emanating over here and just going up straight up through so if i go head on to it it's round but if i'm looking at it from an angle it is elliptical so we want to bring a hole through here and do it without it being elliptical. So let's try that. So let's do a sketch. We're going to do it on this plane. I'm going to turn this back on again. Switching off. I'm going to split it. And then I'm going to move this over here so you can see it. And then I'm going to take just a simple line. And I'm going to draw it from there. And I come up through here. And I'm just going to set that angle, whatever the angle is I want. And in this case, I'm going to make it 42 degrees just because I can. And then I'm going to close that sketch. So now I have a line that comes up right where I want the hole to be. Now I'm going to put a plane on there. But I'm going to connect it to this guy. And it'll go normal to the edge, so it's at 90 degrees to that line. That's exactly what we want. So we we'll say OK. Then we're going to draw a sketch on that plane. And again, we're going to switch our model back on so we can see what we're doing. And there you can see the plane. There you can see the hole. And I'm going to take the hole and draw it. The small hole I want. I'm going to put it through. There, I'm not going to bother constraining it because I don't care how big it is right now. And then what I'm going to do is make a hole with that hole. I'm going to go through all. And now if you look, you have a proper hole that's coming right out of the center. So it's going to always look like a round hole instead of this elliptical hole. So I'll say OK to that. Hopefully that helps you. Basically, we're using the a line to set up the angle, and then a date and plane to see at the bottom of the line to draw on. And then we can create our hole and bring it straight out through there. Now, if I want to do a series of three holes, I'd do three lines like this and take them out through the top. So hopefully that helps on a way to approach putting a hole perpendicular through that dome. And it makes sense on how you do it. It's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. The hardest part of this was drawing it down. So if you have any questions, then feel free to leave me a comment below. If not, give me a thumbs up.
just to uh, let me know you like this kind of stuff. And then if you don't mind, you can subscribe to the channel. It's free, doesn't cost you anything. You're not committing to anything. You're just subscribing to the channel so that you can find out when I post new videos. And if you click the bell icon, you can get notifications when I post new videos. Honestly, if you just subscribe to it, you'll see them come up in your feed. Uh, again, I'm trying to get us uh, moving along here on the subscription, so I'd really appreciate it. Uh, now, if you do want to donate to the channel, you can always become a member of this channel on YouTube, or you can join my Patreon, and I'll put the links below. Thanks.